Welcome to the Sound Off Show. Let's talk about it. Today's story is about an event that took place in the Houston area where a three-year-old boy dies after accidentally shooting himself at his own birthday party. Here's what we know. The three-year-old boy is coming out of Porter, Texas, where he was killed accidentally by shooting himself in the chest during his own birthday party. Deputies say family and friends had gathered at the boy's home located about 25 miles outside of Houston for the party. Family told deputies they were playing cards when a gunshot rang out. The child was found with a wound to the chest. During the investigation, it was determined that the child had found the gun after it fell out of a family member's pocket. The child was rushed to a nearby fire station where he died from his injury. Whether or not an investigation would continue into the death was not stated by Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. But the office says its thoughts and prayers go out to the family and friends of this tragic accident. First and foremost, our thoughts and prayers go out to the family for their tragic loss. Yes, indeed, this is truly a sad story. The first thing that stood out to me was the fact that the adults at the party were playing cards. Why were the adults there playing cards when they should have been supervising? And that leaves me to wonder, who was supervising the children in attendance at the party. Even a better question, what was the need for firearms? What happened to the days of face painting, clowns, kid games? It's very obvious that no one was really paying attention when they were supposed to. And it's very sad and unfortunate that a child would have to lose their life in such a manner on a day to celebrate their life. I agree with you 100%. I think the lesson that we can take away from this is the need for gun responsibility and gun accountability. Again, it said that the gun fell out of the pocket of a family member. I mean, that can leave us to question, was this person licensed to carry and were they being responsible with the gun? I mean, isn't a gun supposed to be secured if you are carrying a concealed weapon? Parents and family members alike need to be responsible with firearms when it comes to being around children. Lock up the guns, don't let the children have access to them. And if you're going to carry concealed, make sure those guns are secured and cannot get into the hands of children. Again, this is so sad and our thoughts and prayers go to the family for their tragic loss. Thanks for joining us. Like, share, subscribe. This is the Sound Off Show, sounding off.